Hi, I am Dr. Vikas Singla. I am working as the director and head of gastroenterology at Max Hospital, Saket. Today we will talk about disease which we call esophageal cancer. Esophagus is commonly known as food pipe, is an organ located in the chest. So, let us first understand how does esophageal cancer occurs and what are risk factors of it. It has been found that people who consume tobacco, this can be in the form of smoking or eating betel leaf. If people smoke a lot or eat betel leaf a lot, such people are at greater risk of developing esophageal cancer. Even if uh, someone consumes excessive alcohol, they stand a risk of getting esophageal cancer. If the person is obese or have a problem with obesity, are at a greater risk of having esophageal cancer. Come, let us now understand what are the symptoms of esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer has three main symptoms. Difficulty in swallowing food, pain in the chest and weight loss. If a person has esophageal cancer, then the very first symptom is difficulty in swallowing food. Whenever the patient eats food, they feel that the food has been stuck in his chest. Initially, this problem occurs with solid food such as chapati, fruits or rice. It's more with these food and the patient drinks a lot of water during their meals. A few days later, they can experience trouble while drinking water. A few patients may experience chest pain as they eat their meals. If the patient suffers from chest pain, then it can be diagnosed that esophageal cancer is affecting the other body parts as well and is spreading to the organs around the food pipe. Esophageal cancer's third symptom is weight loss. Because esophageal cancer patients eat less food, they start experiencing weight loss. Next issue is how esophageal cancer is diagnosed. So firstly, it is important this cancer is diagnosed in its initial stage so that its treatment can be done in a better way. Firstly, we perform endoscopy. Esophageal cancer patients have ulcers which we can see through endoscopy. We take biopsy of this ulcer which is a very safe technique. Biopsy does not cause complications at all. Biopsy is later followed by its examination under the microscope in the laboratory to confirm esophageal cancer diagnosis. Many a times patients have a fear of endoscopy. I would like to clear here that if we take proper precautions, endoscopy is a very safe technique and a painless technique. Once esophageal cancer has been diagnosed, its staging is very important because every stage of esophageal cancer needs a different plan. Esophageal cancer staging requires two tests. One is PET scan and the second is endoscopic ultrasound. During PET scan, a patient is given an injection and after that, images are taken. If any area of the body has cancer, it gets bright and is visible in the machine. Endoscopic ultrasound is an endoscopy test. During this test, we use an endoscope to do the ultrasound and we see that how far the tumor has spread. Come, let's see how esophageal cancer is treated. Esophageal cancer's treatment depends on stage. First stage is very early stage. In this stage, the tumor is in its initial stage and the patient has no symptoms. This stage can be diagnosed during routine endoscopy. New age endoscopy that we have today uses a new technique called image enhanced endoscopy. Through this technique, even without a biopsy, early stage cancer can be diagnosed. Esophageal cancer's next stage is early cancer. In this stage, the cancer is confined to the esophagus only and has not spread to the surrounding organs. When the patient is in this stage, 
they can be directly operated on with surgery and can be cured after the surgery some patients may need chemotherapy or radiotherapy next stage of esophageal cancer is is locally advanced cancer meaning that the esophageal cancer has spread to the surrounding organs including the tissues near the esophagus and the lymph nodes such patients are firstly given chemotherapy and radiotherapy to reduce the size of the tumor and then the patient undergoes surgery lastly i would like to say that esophageal cancer treatment is possible it is very important to diagnose it at the early stage if anyone is having problem with swallowing food or water it is my request not to ignore this meet the specialist and get it diagnosed this cancer may occur at any age but it majorly affects after the age of 50 or 60 years after cancer we stage it and through latest techniques latest treatment we can cure it as well it is important that patients need not panic thank you